Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I'm video documenting my Novi year here for 2021. So for today's video, I just have a makeup and skincare empties video. So I'll be just going through the items that I've used up in the month of January. Uh, so part of uh, or one of my goals for this year in my no by year is just to work down the size of my makeup and skincare collection by just using up things that I already have and not buying more. Uh, I am on a replacement only no buy so I want to do ru completely run out of something I am able to replace it but only when I've uh, fully exhausted any sort of products that I have of that type. So um, for this month of January, I've just got my little box here. Um, so these are all the items that I've used up. I've got nine empties for today. So it's not a big um, start to the year, but um, we'll see how we go throughout the year. And hopefully I can have more empties in the future. And this month they're mostly actually skincare items, but I guess that's pretty um, normal that we usually use uh, skincare items at a greater rate than we use up makeup items. Um, so the first item that I have is just a micellar water. This one was from Garnier. Um, this actually takes me forever to use up because I don't use it to remove my makeup. I really just use it after I've done my eyes. If um, the edges are a little bit um, sort of messy or if there's a, a lot of fallout underneath my eyes I just use micellar water to clean it up with just a reusable cotton pad before I do the rest of my makeup so I really don't use a lot of this um, so this I honestly don't know how long I've been using this for I do actually have one more of these um, already so I'll go on to using that one but after that I won't be purchasing micellar water from Garnier because Garnier is not cruelty free and I'm trying to switch all of my makeup and skincare to cruelty free items so that's the first one that I have um, the second one I have is just this hand cream um, from a New Zealand brand called the Aromatherapy Co um, and this was a lemongrass, lime and bergamo hand cream. Um, I did like this. I would consider repurchasing it at some point when I have run out of um, the dozens of hand creams probably that I have. Um, this one is cruelty free. I also like that it's in aluminium packaging so the packaging is um, recyclable. Um, and I like the smell of this one. I like the texture of it. Um, so yeah, this one, the Aromatherapy Co. Um, therapy kitchen hand cream um, that's one that I would potentially consider repurchasing and it's made in New Zealand so it's a New Zealand company but the product is also made in New Zealand um, so I suppose it has a little bit less mileage than products that are made in the States or in Europe for me um, so the next product I have is this um, Sukin rejuvenating facial scrub um, again, Asukin's another skincare company that I uh, use quite a bit because they're an Australian company. All of the products are made in Australia. Um, all of the products are cruelty free. Um, I'm not too sure if all of them are vegan, but I, most of them are vegan and they're also free of sort of other nasties like sulfates, parabens, um, all of the things that we should probably all be trying to avoid. I did really like this one. I like the smell, um, but I'm at this stage I probably wouldn't be repurchasing any kind of facial scrubs just because I actually now just have a brush that I can use for exfoliating my face. So just in terms of, I guess, waste and, and, and trying to move towards sort of things that are a bit more sustainable, I feel like a brush is maybe a better way to go for me rather than a scrub. So I'll see how I go with the brush, but um, I did like this product. So potentially would consider repurchasing if the brush doesn't really work out. Um, the next one I have is um, a little sample. So this was a deluxe sample of the CEO. It's like a vitamin C brightening serum from Sunday Riley. Um, I just use this sort of around my eyes because it's supposed to sort of brighten and plump the skin. So I just kind of used it where I do have a little bit of sort of lines around my eyes. Um, and just using it in that small area, um, it took me, I think, almost a month to use this up. And I really didn't see any difference in um, 
my skin after a month of usage so I wouldn't purchase um, the actual product based on that it's not cruelty free either and I believe the full size of this product um, I'll will look it up to be exact but at Mecca in Australia I think the full size of this product is over a hundred dollars so for that price you really would want it to be doing you know quite a bit for your skin and yeah this I for me personally just did nothing so that's one that I definitely wouldn't purchase so I guess it's good to have um, been able to try um, a sample of it and yeah decide that I won't be purchasing that one um, the next one I have is another skincare so this is um, the Himalayan charcoal um, purifying glow mask so it's like a clay mask um, from the body shop I don't think I would repurchase this so for starters I'm not after sort of learning about the um, sort of multi-level marketing aspect that the body shop has to their company I don't think I will be purchasing them from them in the future um, unless they sort of rectify that situation anyway um, but apart from that this product it is cruelty free but it's very messy so um, to wash off the clay I found that it's probably best to do it in the shower um, because when I did use it with a face cloth it did kind of stain the the face cloth that I was using but apart from that I really found that it just it just draws oil out of your skin which is I guess what all clay masks do but then it actually kind of made my skin a little bit dry in the long term I don't think it really was very beneficial um, so I yeah I think that maybe just for me the a clay mask is not a very effective means of oil control I think for me personally maybe just um, really hydrating products is maybe a better form of oil control for me personally so that was that one um, so the last skincare one I have was this um, Mecca Cosmetica Hydrogel Eye Mask. Um, I got this one as a, a freebie in the birthday gift from Mecca last year. Um, again, I would not repurchase, or I didn't purchase this anyway, but I wouldn't purchase it. These cost $8 for one, so they're pretty expensive. I didn't see any sort of difference um, after using it. And also, I have kind of decided for myself that I won't be using products like these or sheet masks that come in this sort of single-use packaging just from a sort of an environmental aspect. I feel like it's not very um, sustainable. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't be repurchasing that one in the future. Um, so the next item I have is actually the only makeup empty I have for this month, but I do have quite a few makeup products that I've I'm so close to finishing so I'm pretty confident for February I will have a few more makeup empties. Um, so this one was just a, a sample of this um, stay spray from Tarte and I actually think I have three of these so this is the first of three that I've used up. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this I was just using this um, when I was doing my eyes if I wanted to use something with um, like a shimmer shadow with a wet brush I was using this to wet my brush and I found that it really really irritated my skin um, so I will probably try to use the other two samples I have just to set my um, my face makeup rather than using it on my eyes but um, I'm not too sure if it's just because it's got a really high alcohol content I couldn't really smell that it had a particularly um, strong fragrance to it so I'm guessing it's just the alcohol content or maybe it's one of the other ingredients in there but it really irritated my um, skin around my eyes so for that reason I wouldn't purchase this product for myself and then the last two um, things that I have in my little box are just two samples of some fragrances. Um, and I've probably had these for forever. Um, so it's just good, I guess, to um, use them up instead of just having them kind of sitting around all the time. So hopefully the camera can focus on this. Um, so this is a sample of a fragrance called Body by Burberry. Um, and then this one is a sample of it's called pleats please from um, Izzy 
uh, Izzy Miyaki, I believe is how you say it. Um, both of these were nice, but I wouldn't repurchase them because both of these fragrance houses aren't cruelty free. And I think the Pleats Please one is so old that um, that um, fragrance is actually no longer um, available. So, oops, there we go. Um, so yeah, those are the nine products that I used up this month. I'll just grab my phone because I am actually doing um, like a reverse rouge type thing um, just for myself, just keeping track of it. So um, Sephora in Australia doesn't actually have rouge. They have, I think it's black, gold and diamond. But basically the concept of reverse rouge is that you try and use uh, or you keep track of how much you've spent on makeup and skincare versus how much the value of the products that you've used up. Um, and so for the month of January, my the amount I spent was zero dollars. Um, but then the value of the products I used up was one hundred and thirteen dollars and forty four cents. So that's the retail value of the product. So for sample products, um, for the um, stay spray and the Sunday Riley serum, I did calculate um, the value of the sample based on the value of the full size product. But for the perfume samples, I just put them as $0 because there's only a couple of mils in there. So I think even if I did actually calculate the value, it would probably be less than $2. So for those ones, I said $0. Um, but then all of the other products that I purchased or that this eye mask is a full size um, product, I just use the, the retail value of it or... Um, if I do, if products that are quite old, I don't know how much I paid for them because I wasn't tracking my spending, but products that I've purchased more recently, if I know the, the price that I actually paid for it, let's say if it was on sale, um, then I'll use that, but otherwise I'll just use the, the retail price. So yeah, the total value of these products was $113 and 44 cents and my spending was $0. So I'm at negative $113 and 44 cents. And I believe that most people who do reverse rouge try to get to negative two thousand dollars or maybe it's fifteen hundred dollars throughout the course of the year um, of course the values will be a little bit different because i'm working in australian dollars and other people will be working in other currencies but it's just um i guess a, a fun little thing to see throughout the year um how much can you actually use and it's i mean it's not just fun it's informative as well it kind of tells you well if you're only using up hundred dollars of um, worth of makeup and skincare per month but you're purchasing three hundred dollars for example um, that's obviously not really going to be something that's sustainable um, so that's just something that I'm going to be doing as part of these empties videos um, I will be recording a video soon with just uh, my general reflections for how my first month of the no buy year went uh, because like I said I want to keep the makeup content separate to other content just um, in case there are people who are trying to avoid makeup based content as part of their their no buy um, so yeah that video will be up shortly I hope uh, if you would like to see more content related to project panning or empties uh, anything like that I'm participating at the moment in four different project pans uh, so I'll have a few more updates in the coming weeks about um, how the first month of those project pans went in addition to I should yeah hopefully have that video updating how my first month of my no by year went um, we'll hopefully have that up soon as well so if you'd be interested in any of that um, kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're also tracking your empties and the total value of products that you used up for the month, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below how you went for the month. But that's all I have today and hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.